Oh, you, you had spoken about the lack of trust in our collective culture, am I? And this is a predominant matter in my, on my path, because um, so much fears, so much sorry, so much doubts arise and push, push fear down. Um, and the question is how to develop, how to come to this fundamental trust in one's own intelligence. Short question. <laughs> Thank you. Short answer. You know, the, the lack of trust. We have pointed out tonight kind of, you know, pers different perspectives on the history of the Western world, which take part of, which constitute this perspective of lack of trust in authority. But the idea of lack of trust is in itself a limited perspective because there is always trust, you see? Um, if you have trust in mistrust, it means that you have trust. The lack of trust is the result of... My path is the path of self-inquiry, you know? It's, it's not the tantric path, but uh, as... as <clears throat> Igor just pointed out, it's just different, at the beginning, different perspectives which finally melt into the same. But self-inquiry is a very, a method which needs extreme sharpness, meaning an inner sword that is capable of the power of discrimination. So lack of trust is, is not a very sharp sword. It means that this person is unable to discriminate what is worthy of trust and what is not. Because but the simple answer is, there is an abundance of trust in every person. If this person is a dominant mistruster, it means that this person has a lot of trust in mistrust. This might also be your case, you see. Take into consideration that trust is not really missing. This is a, a limited point of view. There is trust. The question is, in what do I trust? And to answer this question, it needs, as I said, from the point of view of self-inquiry, it needs a very sharp sword of discrimination. And then you find that you have trust. We're not lacking, we're not lacking anything. Nobody's lacking anything. The question is, where do I invest? Where does this person invest trust? You see? And this is obviously the problem of many Westerners, that they invest trust in a false place. How to change the direction? Discrimination. Maybe just uh, 
to what Om pointed out, to give this another entrance. So what is trust, right? What is trust? What is trust in itself? Is a confirmation of something being true. In fact, the root of the term, at least in English, trust and truth have the same, same provenance. So trust and truth are interrelated. See? So what is trust then? What is trust? And what is the opposite of trust? Well, just very simply, very simply, in very simple terms. So trust directly relates here to that what stands here as that truth. Truth. There's a Sanskrit term, sat. Sat as the substratum, sat chitananda. Being, consciousness, bliss. So, sat in Sanskrit, Sanskrit is equated with being. Being, consciousness, bliss. Sat. But sat in itself is not being. Sat is truth. So it's the ultimate truth. So trust, trust here, can only be checked by the by its relationship to that what represents being. So what Om was pointing out just now is that absolutely every single being is an unlimited reservoir of trust because that's the only true reality of who we are. See? So this is the reality because our reality is a reality of being. So therefore, in a way, in a way, there is never lack of trust. It's in, in itself, it's like um, a certain kind of mind trick that it plays with itself. You see, when you play chess and you don't have a, someone to play with, you would have to think for two people, right? And great chess players have been great fun with that. You will play for yourself and for that imaginary self, you see? But you cannot cheat and make another person who you are to lose. Can you? I'm going to now do this combination and he, who is I am playing, instead of going to not know about that, and then I'm really fantastically going to checkmate. See? That it has to be open, completely open for it to make sense. So you thoroughly th think of any possible combination from this point of view, playing with whites, and you make a move. Then you turn the table, and you now completely and utterly, with that same verb, think what can that configuration here represents for me to move the black figures. This is, this is truth. This is an example of being true. You see? So really, really, mistrust is a misunderstanding of what that is in terms of where we direct and project that. You see? You can also bring this example into the sphere of, let's say, something as direct as love. We can speak about this in terms of love or in terms of beauty. You see? No matter how many times we can be betrayed, right? Because you can protest and say, well, I'm sorry, my lack of trust is based not on trickstery of the mind, but because I was betrayed. I have been manipulated. I have been this and that. So the example, therefore, here will be with something that is more direct and relatable love. Yes, maybe, maybe when we are hurt, 
in a relationship. It feels as if we can never love. How often we, especially when maybe we're young, but not so young, sometimes people like live midlife crisis and they, I will never love anyone anymore. I'm done with loving, you know, because this is all waste of time and, you know, it doesn't exist. And, and you know, in any case, anytime I open up to someone and they like cut my soul and, you know, but you can't because love doesn't belong to you as quality. Love is God. Love is the self, you know. It doesn't, it cannot be packed in into the recessives of your soul because your soul is that. Its essence is love. So, therefore, no commitment can be made to not love. It's ridiculous. You see? That, likewise, you cannot make commitment to trust or not to trust. And take this example further, beauty. You see? How can you betray beauty? Can you betray beauty by ugly? By what? No, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot trust or not to trust beauty. Beauty is. It just is. It's self-evident. It's all there is. This is why, this is why there is this Quranic verse. God is beautiful and loves beauty. So, just to suggestion. Trust and being are not only interrelated, it's, it's a connection to your being, that's all. But the connection to your being, there's never lack of trust because we are unlimited reservoir of that at all times.